What's going on my guy? Lost and Found Dating Channel. Back at it again this week with another dating topic. Excited to share this video with you guys. Before we get into the video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be the very first to know. You'll get that notification when we've released a video. So thank you guys for your support. Hope you've subscribed by this point already. And let's dive into this week's topic. All right, fellas. So for this week, we're going to be talking about how to have amazing conversations while you're on a date with the woman. So my goal with this video is for you to walk away with some mindset and some strategies on how to maintain a conversation with a woman with ease, how to have a great conversation and not feel like it's a challenge, not feel like it's difficult for you while you're on that date. And I'm hoping by the end of this video, I can help lower that bar of difficulty when it comes to conversing while on the date and have you think and, and understand that finding things to talk about, finding topics to talk about while you're on the date can be pretty easy. And you don't have to look at it with the same level of challenge or the same level of difficulty as maybe you've been seeing it in the past. And I'm gonna kick this video off with a personal story of my own. Um, and this had happened a long time ago. I had been on a date with a woman and she really enjoyed talking about herself. I know that sounds pretty crazy to some of you guys out there. She liked to talk about herself. But, you know, this woman did in fact enjoy talking about herself and her life. She was actually a business owner. Um, she had owned a pastry business. And me being a self-employed personal trainer, we started to talk about just what it's like being self-employed, what it's like owning your own business, and starting to talk about you know the journey of having an idea or having a goal and then actually being able to execute that plan. So as the date progressed, I started to learn about what her journey was like as far as being a business owner and things like different challenges and adversity that she dealt with, what it's like to maintain a business, some of the different struggles, dealing with difficult clients, which as a personal trainer, you know, that's something that I'm accustomed to. I know what that can be like dealing with someone who's very difficult and trying to work with them as a business owner. And as I mentioned, being self-employed myself, I really enjoyed listening to her and learning about her journey, the different things that she had to overcome, what her experience was like. So as we were talking and as the date was progressing, I didn't have to try to sound interested. I didn't have to try to think of my next question because I was just asking her about things that I was already interested in based on my experience and based on my life. So we talked for maybe an hour, almost an hour, just about you know being a... <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Un, very unprofessional of me to have my phone not on vibrate but let's continue so we talked for about an hour maybe even longer about what it's like being a business owner then we transitioned uh, and we started talking about tattoos she had several tattoos I have tattoos myself so we talked about tattoos how old we were when we got our first tattoo she mentioned that there was an upcoming tattoo convention going on now the point of, of me mentioning these things is as you're starting to see, I didn't have to, to try to anticipate what I was gonna talk about. I didn't have to go into the date with a list of different topics or a list of, of conversation cues. I just asked her about things that I was already interested in and that I knew would help build a great conversation. And what I want you guys to understand is every single person has a story in life if you want to have great conversations with anyone, in this case, the woman whom you're going on a date with, it's about finding things about her story that you're genuinely interested in and then digging deeper using questions. Questions by nature are conversational, right? You're asking someone about themselves. You're asking them to share 
maybe an interest of theirs or a hobby or an activity or an experience that they've had, right? By nature, that's gonna generate a conversation because you ask a question, they share something about themselves, maybe you ask a follow-up question or maybe they return back after they've shared, they then ask you a question. So questions are, are great to have on a date because they're naturally gonna generate conversations. When I was on that date, I didn't have to feign interest. I didn't have to, you know, nod my head and, and, and hold my chin and sit there and try to pretend like I was interested in what she was saying. I was asking the right questions and asking about things that I was already interested in that she could then share and, and allow me to ask follow-up questions and allow me to learn a little bit more about her. It's about knowing how to ask the right questions and knowing how to steer and lead the conversation towards topics or things that you're interested in that she can share about herself. I think some of you guys out there, when you look at dates, you approach them as if they're a uh, uh, time to try to find a, a right place in the conversation to communicate you know, what's fascinating about you or what makes you so great. And that's your approach going on the date. And when you're doing that, you're not really deeply listening. You're not listening to actively listen. You're just listening with the intent to then respond and talk about yourself. I would recommend that instead of having that approach, you ask questions and try to figure out what she's passionate about and why she's passionate about those things. Maybe she's very passionate about her family. Maybe she's very passionate about her job or her hobbies or different things that she's doing on the side. Maybe she's passionate about sports. Maybe she has her own business. You know, these are all things that, you know, among that list, you're guaranteed to find something that she really enjoys talking about and that she is excited and enthusiastic when she's talking about that topic. What I don't want you to do is go on that date and think about ways to try and mention or try and talk about things that you think are cool about yourself. That should never be your approach. And trust me guys, the fact that you are able to get her to open up and share things about her own life and about her own story, that is way more impressive to her than anything that you think is, is cool about yourself or anything about yourself that you think is interesting or worth mentioning. And as an example, think about an activity or a hobby or an interest that you have in life whatever it may be, maybe it's related to sports or martial arts or dance, photography, whatever it could be, think about that one thing. If you and I sat down just as boys and we were sitting down talking and I asked you about that thing, I asked you, you know, why you're so interested in it and what, how you started to develop that interest or that passion for that thing, just after a few minutes, you and I would build such great rapport and you would almost feel like we've been friends you know, for a long time. Just by me showing interest and showing curiosity about something that you're passionate about. You know, if you and I were sitting down and I said to you, man, how did you, how did you get interested in you know, that activity? How did you, how old were you when you first started playing that sport? You know, did your parents play that? Did, did your family come from a background of people who are passionate about that kind of thing? Over time, you would feel like I'm one of your best friends in the world. Why? Because I sat there and I listened to you and from whatever you said, I actually acknowledged what you said and responded with something that was relevant instead of just responding and using, using it as an opportunity to then share about myself. If I asked you where the last place you went on vacation was, and you're like, well, a couple weeks ago, I went to the Bahamas. And then I go, well, that's cool. Last week, I actually went to St. Martin. And then I talked about that for five minutes. You'd be like, dude, you didn't even ask a follow-up question. You didn't show any interest in what I said. You just went on a, on a lecture about your vacation. You didn't ask me how I enjoyed it, how long I was there for, what I did while I was out there, right? That would, that would sort of push you away because you'd feel like, I didn't show any interest in what you just told me. It's the same thing when you're going on a date. And if I continue to do that throughout the conversation, at a certain point, you're just gonna, you're gonna wanna disengage and not talk anymore because you feel like I'm just here to talk about myself and I'm not even listening to what you're telling me and what you're contributing to the conversation. If you think about it, most people out there, let's say who work a standard job, nine to five, you know, 40 hours a week, 
they spend most of their time with their colleagues, their coworkers, or their boss. Do you think that those people they spend their time around care about their passion or their interests or their hobbies or you know what they want with their life? Chances are more than likely they don't. You know, the people that, that we work with, they're they're there to, to kind of serve a role. We're there to serve a role. You know, we do our work tasks and whatever our responsibilities are but there's no actual connection as far as this person you know, being genuinely interested in you. That's very rare at the workplace. So what helps you as far as dating and as far as building that attraction, when, when this woman sees that you're someone who's genuinely interested in her, who wants to learn about the things that she's passionate about, her hobbies, her interests, her goals in life, that's what's gonna help you build that, that sense of attraction and build that level of interest. And she's gonna wanna talk with you more and then she's gonna wanna spend more time with you. All right, fellas, so those are some of my strategies and my mindset when it comes to maintaining a, a great, you know, fun, exciting, enthusiastic conversation while you're on that date. I hope that for some of you guys out there, I've kind of lowered the bar as far as difficulty and help you realize that having a conversation with a woman, you know, isn't really that challenging when it comes to the date. You don't have to come there with specific topics or, or with cue cards and things that you want to make sure you touch on, make sure you mention. It's really just about learning about her, you know, and, and as the conversation progresses, if she's interested in you as well, she's gonna, she's not just gonna talk about herself, she's gonna ask you follow-up questions. She's gonna ask about some of your passions and your hobbies and your interests. And you two are gonna build that great conversation and, and it's gonna lead to an enjoyable, fun, exciting date. So, hope you guys took some nuggets away from this video, hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you click the thumbs up, make sure you leave a comment down below, and of course, subscribe. That way you'll be the very first to know when we come out with new content. Catch you guys next time. Lost and Found Dating Channel, signing out. Peace.